Hello, and welcome to my Kenshi Mining Tutorial, Part 1, Revamped. In this tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to make your own mod, save it, put it into the game, and how to quickly change your character just a little bit, not much, because obviously I want to keep this video small and short, as well as every other video that I'm going to be showcasing in the next squad. So first off, you want to start with your new mod. Call it whatever you want. It can be anything. I'm just going to call it YouTube, and that's it. Or I could say U underscore two, but uh, anyways. But I'm not done yet. I have made my save file, but I can't actually change it. As you can see, there's no items in this column right here. That is because I have not loaded it yet. I have to load the mod as well as the game data dot base. That lets you change everything in the game. Don't worry, you won't have to worry about your saves or anything. As soon as you take off the mod and start a new game, you'll be perfectly back to normal. However, I do suggest that if you don't want to lose anything, um, save your saves somewhere else, make backup files, whatever. So now, you know how to save your file, load it into the modding, uh, to, like modding thingy, but how do you open it and put it into the game? Well, let's see. First, you go to your documents or wherever the world you keep your uh, Kenshi. Uh, for me, I keep it in Program Files 86 and in the Sura because I have it on the Sura. I go to Kenshi, Data, and there you go, YouTube. In order to open this mod into the game, I have to put in YouTube. And uh, you would think that's it. Nope, you have to put dot .mods or it will not work. Because this is that, that is exactly what saves as, is a dot .mod. Now that I have that saved, I never have to put it back in there again. Every change I make in this little thingy over here will automatically be put in to this into the game. So you don't have to worry. And now, the last little showcase, how to change your character a little bit, not much. Now, when you start the game, you start off as the Wanderer. The game gives you a script, obviously, to change your name. That can be done, you can't change that, and I certainly don't know how to, regardless. And why would you want to? Obviously, you want to call yourself something else than the Wanderer. So, here you go. You have your basic characteristics, exactly what the mo Wanderer starts off with. You can change your money, how many first aid kits you can start off with, your weapons, your stats, everything. Including the clothing on your back. Now, of course, you never want to change your stats here. Always change it here with stat randomized, if you want to start off the game with random stats. This, of course, will add a multiplier to the game, in which your stats will always, always be randomized. Not obviously. Always be randomized. It can be... Strength 3, 4, you can have different skills all the time, and it usually always works. You can also do it with Sword for Hires, and I suggest you do do it for Sword for Hires if you're going to change your stats. You can add more money by simply adding uh, more zeros, more numbers, whatever you want. And if you want to add more items, or give yourself powerful, more powerful weapons, go to here. You can check any, click any of these we want a different weapon, we want our weapon to be more powerful, we select weapon level. We click add, and if you click add on anything that you select here, it will obviously add it. So, general metal, uh, metal is a level 10 weapon, if you uh, check it in here. Of course, I'll showcase that later, but anyways, let's get in general metal. Now, that doesn't give me it. I have to put it there. Just by pressing 1, and now I'll start off with a general metal, metal katana, which will always be different. It usually has 0 0.50 to 0 0.73 uh, cut damage almost all the time. Thank you for watching this little tutorial. The next tutorial will be for weapons. Or, maybe, no, yeah, yeah, weapons. We'll, we'll do weapons, how about that? Well, I'll show you how to make your own weapon. Well, make a stronger weapon, I should say. I can't, you can't make your own, like, sword that looks like clouds or something like that just for an example how to um, and how to actually give your weapons extremely powerful or make them extremely powerful I should say um, so thank you for watching goodbye